M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Let's load the latest software firmware to our UVK5. It's May the 2nd, 2024, and this is the original software. So go to this link here where it says UVK5 firmware and click download. So it's the fourth one down, okay? Download, and you'll get all the files you need in one place. I'll just show you them. Got them here in my little folder. So at the top, you've got the updater file, You've got the USB driver, there's a video there and instructions, but the main one you also need is, is the bin file, which is number 2.01.31. So we've got everything we need there. Next step, we're going to go to the software that updates the firmware. It's got like a white and green square that you can just about see here, bottom left. Hopefully, yeah, it's right at the bottom, a little green and white file. Uh, the cable's plugged into our radio. <clears throat> We've held down the PTT. So hold your PTT and turn it on when it's off. And then you get the, the white torch come on. If you don't get that, unplug your cable and do it again. So it's a twin pin cable. And, you know, you can get them from Amazon. It's just a UV5R USB cable twin pin that goes to your PC. Ooh, lots of activity today on my ham radios. So if we right click, device manager, double click ports, and we're on COM8. <clears throat> so to connect to the radio, we go COM8, and we hit connect. We select the word connect here. And hopefully if it says connect, then you've done something good. Now the three dots here are to download and connect the, the actual bin file. So you need to put that bin file somewhere where you can find it. So I, I've just put mine in a folder called bin. So I just go three dots here to the left of the word update. Go to desktop on mine and I found a, I put a file called bin. They are. And of course it's not in there. File. Let's just, I've probably got 10 files called bin. All right, let's try again. Three dots. Go to desktop, go to the file I called bin. I did literally just drag the file into it. And there you are, we've got the file. And then if you watch the radio closely, it's gonna start flashing like crazy as soon as I hit the word update. If it doesn't, you've got a bad cable. Push that cable right in if it's not flashing. And then we'll have a look at what this radio looks like. I don't think we'll see any changes, but it, this is the latest link, the latest software, the latest USB driver. So, um, and it's even got the latest, we'll have a quick look at that as well programming software, you can use Chirp now. So there you are, we're in there. I'm just gonna go menu, we'll unplug the cable a minute. We'll go menu. It's, you can change the language, wonder what number that is. I'll find the language for you and change it. So the, the language is 21. It's, it's called voice, go menu. Go down one to English, or off. Confirm, that's it. And then it's just the usual, the timeout, let's do that. Now that's the talking timeout, we want the screen, don't we? So we'll go up to, we're looking for a screen timeout. We'll go through the menu while we're here anyway. I know we've done this a million times, but it's good to refresh. Squelch, I do that to about three. Step, so your frequency step between channels, menu, I usually do 6.25. And then power, I'll leave it low for now. Transmit, CTCS, this is the one you're gonna use quite often. Shift direction at menu eight for your repeaters and the offset amount, which tends to be naught. If you go menu, naught, naught, uh, naught, 600 for a two meter repeater. There you are, keep going down. Wide, narrow, scramble, memory channels, save, vox, ABR. Can't remember if that's the screen or not, but it says five. Twin receive, we'll turn that on. That's 17. Do it, channel B. WX, let's put that on. Why not? Beep, time out for talking. We want about three minutes for that. Voice is English, we've done that. Let's 
So it's about 50 menus. Cool. Dual watch code. Roger beep. Voltage. AM. On or off. So we go turn that on. Why not? NOA, that's weather, isn't it? Let's turn that on. We can delete a channel, we can fully reset. And then it starts again. The secret menu, I believe, is you turn it off, hold down the bottom two little buttons and turn on. And when you go into that, I believe you get, when you go menu, you get more selections, I believe. But anyway, I'm not gonna do that now. It's just to show you that the latest firmware, so that all looks fine. And if you wanna just go um, A and B band, Sorry about that, let's go F2. That takes you to A, VFO memory, F3. Mode, F3. Three. Like so. Working great by the looks of it. So you've got the latest firmware from Quashang. Actually, let's see if we can look up that firmware. What we'll do, we just download the actual programming software. So there's another link for that. Just UVK5 software, click download, keep. Let's run it. Put our cable back in as well. Agree, next. Finish. Let's find that software, see where it's put it. So it puts the, the software in a file called Portable Radio, and it's like a little blue radio there. So let's go to Settings, Com, and I think we were Com 8. Let's just double check, right click. Right click and click, <laughs> uh, device manager. Yeah, it's definitely COM8, so click connect and then we're gonna read. It's reading fine, that's good news. Click okay. I can't remember if we've got much in there. Function keys, so yeah, 2.0131. Common settings like, you know, your backlight. It's the longest is five seconds without the modification. I don't know why they didn't change that. Welcome sign, squelch level, beep control, display frequency or name or nothing. VFO, Vox, dual band, dual watch. You know, you've got those kind of, those kind of settings. Memory channels, I've got a few in there, not loads. You can see, and to change, well, quite a few more than I expected, actually. I've got the air band in there. I don't know how I got that in there, but to change them, you just double click the, the line, give it a name. So we just call it um, channel one frequency. So you could go 145.600. If it's a repeater, you'd go well, if it's simplex, it's the same. But if repeater, you go 145.00, that's your shift. Change of power, bandwidth doesn't really matter. Receive tone, I will tend to leave off. Send tone, I usually put CTCSS and then whatever the tone the repeater is. Uh, and that's about it. We know a timeout. Is there a talk timeout on this? Can't see an obvious one, but anyway, click OK. It was in the settings, one app. And then you just write it to the radio. You can save as well. You know, just save what you've done. Put it back in that bin file. So you've got a folder. Give it a name. Like so. DTMF memories. You can do that. Memory VFO channel. So that when it turns on, you can set that as well. At the moment, it's set to some unusual frequencies there. Remember, it has got a broadcast radio, so you can set memories for that as well. Looks like there's one in there. VFO, and you can actually name the VFO channels. So yeah, it looks like it's working fine. It doesn't look any different than the very first time I ever 
turned on a UVK five years, a few couple of years ago. But yeah, this is the latest one. Link in the description. Thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.